Hey, Rob, thought it was just easier to walk you through in a video uh, some of my uh, feedback on your ads and walk you through kind of step by step what I am seeing and, and uh, how you can get your ads performing a little bit better. So first thing that I noticed is that you are you want to be running a different campaign. So if you really want leads, you want people opting in for your um, your lead magnet and ultimately your um, I think you probably have an email automation at the back of that. Uh, you need to be running a conversion uh, campaign. So it looks like right now you're running a traffic campaign and you're just not asking Facebook for, you know, Facebook is giving you what you're asking for. So it's ask, you know, like you're asking for traffic to that uh, landing page. Uh, so it's just sending you really cheap clicks to your landing page, um, uh, you know, to that. And that's really not what you want. You really want, you know, not only people to reach that website, but to, um, opt in. And the difference between the two is conversion ad is really going to only focus on those people that actually do opt in and it's going to find more of those people. So that's kind of the power of the Facebook algorithm is that once somebody opts in and you get that first person, Facebook is going to take a look at that person and it's going to look across its entire network and it's going to you know find somebody just like that person. <clears throat> uh, so it's really going to help you once you get one lead, get a very, you know, like, get a bunch of other leads because Facebook can kind of narrow down that universe uh, even more. Uh, the other question that I have for you guys is what kind of targeting did you use? Did you just go out to the, you know, the entire US and uh, ask Facebook uh, to put this ad in front of everybody? Or, you know, did you uh, kind of narrow it down a little bit more? So like, you know, just in the, the brief uh, landing page and the Facebook ad copy that you have here, what it looks like is that you're targeting, you know, moms uh, that have teenagers. So within the Facebook, you know, uh, business manager, there's plenty of settings so that you could target just moms and then, um, you know, moms of adolescents or like uh, teenagers or somebody having teenage um, relationship issues. Uh, you know, the, if I did a little bit of research, I could kind of narrow down what you're exactly looking for. But at the very least, you should be targeting just moms. That's going to narrow down the universe. It's probably still going to be too big of a universe. Uh, but if we can narrow it down to those moms that have uh, teenagers and maybe having some kind of relationship issues, that's going to narrow it down to a universe where you want it to be around 500 um, thousand to a million. That's kind of the, the sweet spot where you want your audience. You want it too big because Facebook will just be putting out your ad in front of this huge audience. And eventually Facebook will find the people that you're looking for if you're running a conversion campaign, but you're going to have to spend a lot of money uh, to get there. So again, you know, what your targeting was for these ads uh, would be helpful as well if you did any kind of targeting. But again, kind of having the right campaign, having the right targeting will kind of get you, uh, you know, better results and get you actually people, you know, getting some leads in the door. And the other thing is just kind of your, your um, Facebook ad copy is something that I would uh, very much change around and kind of really speaking to your audience. So, you know, if I look at your Facebook ad copy, how to love your imperfect child, it doesn't really, it doesn't really grab me. It doesn't tell me what uh, this ad is all about. And, you know, as a mom, you know, like, as a dad, I don't really want to hear about my imperfect child because actually I look at my kids, you know, regardless of what our relationship is and I see them as, as kind of perfect. So, you know, that, that first line doesn't really grab me. So that's, that's the number one problem. And I, I see how you kind of use that throughout and also on your landing page. So you have to make sure that we're kind of speaking our audience's language and kind of, especially in that first line, kind of grabbing their attention and getting them curious and reading down the rest of uh, the ad. So that's kind of the, the first thing. I mean, the rest of it, I think, especially in this ad, it's, it's a little bit better than some of the other ads um, as well. But the way I kind of look at Facebook ad copy is, you know, again, those first couple of lines are really important just to catch people's attention, not to get that click right away. Uh, if we can get them hitting that see more button or getting reading the rest of the, the Facebook ad copy, <coughs> uh, that's helpful. Um, so I like to, I, I like to start with a transformational story. So talk, you know, like share a story of a mom that is talking about, um, that difficult relationship that they have with their teenager. They might notice that something is wrong in terms of ADHD or anxiety or whatever it is. You know, let's talk about one of those trigger moments where, uh, your audience would really, um, 
you know, their stress around their teen is really high. So bring them that to that moment, get them emotionally uh, involved or connected to whatever you're doing. Talk about the transformation, maybe how your process, your lead magnet uh, was able to uh, kind of improve that relationship over time, improve that communication around brain health and kind of gave that parent a lot of ahas. Uh, and then talk about like, what are they actually opting in for? Give them a preview of uh, what they're going to, you know, once they click, what what should they expect next? Why should they get excited about your lead magnet and how that's going to improve the relationship? So this kind of gets to like, what is your specific formula? What's your uh, specific process that you can kind of walk them through? Typically, it's a, a three or four step process of, you know, kind of understanding your teenager and giving them steps on how to ultimately improve the relationship. So they kind of have the stepping stones on how to do that. They know they're not going to improve the relationship with their teen. <clears throat> overnight, uh, excuse me. And then again, if you have some testimonials as well, you can include that in the, in the Facebook ad, um, you know, as well, but it's really just meant to, and, and I'm not sure what's in this video or not, but again, kind of speaking your audience's language, giving them a little bit more emotional connection or curiosity to get them reading down the page, giving them a, a little bit of a preview. So think of it as like a movie trailer, uh, before you go to the movie, they have to be curious enough to actually uh, get to that next page and opt in and, and those kind of things, uh, as well. Um, so that's, that's kind of the idea. And then in terms of the image right here, I, I know this is kind of a, a movie or this is kind of like a short video or a graphic right here. Uh, the problem with the image is it's really, you know, the colors are not, you know, they don't stick out. So like, as I'm scrolling along my feed, it's not something that would really catch my attention. It's really dull colors. You have a little bit of the, the red cross out, but that's not something that's really going to grab my attention. So really think about, um, putting in an image and it doesn't have to be directly relevant to uh, your lead magnet. It can be just something that really catches their attention. The idea of the image to stop their scroll, get them reading that text and hopefully click through. So, you know, that would be one of the things that this is very, you know, kind of that grayish or a light blue is not something that's really going to catch my attention as I'm scrolling through uh, Facebook and going through there. So again, you know, having the right campaign, having the right targeting to kind of narrow down an audience so that Facebook has a good idea of where to start and where to put your ads in front of, and then having, you know, the right image and the right Facebook ad copy uh, to get them going in the, in the next uh, direction. Um, so that, you know, like these are, you know, like, again, like the first sentence here, I, I don't, um, you know, it's not specific enough to, I know, like, what are you talking about? Are you talking about to me as mom, like be curious, not furious? Like, what, what does that mean? Like put that in the context again, like, instead of telling me be curious, not furious, maybe take me to a moment where, you know, a mom is, is likely to be furious with their teenager for whatever reason. Again, think about those trigger moments and how we can, instead of telling people, show them through a story that really connects with them emotionally. And then we can kind of talk about why your lead magnet is the potential solution for an improved uh, relationship uh, over time. And then the same thing with this one, don't lose your child forever. Again, it's, it's not specific enough. It's really general. Does, like, I don't, I don't know what that, you know, like, I, I don't know what, uh, there's not enough curiosity there for me really get reading down the page. I'm kind of just a little bit lost in that one sentence. And again, it's in all caps. So it, you know, for some people that might, you know, like that, uh, might mean to a lot of people that you're kind of screaming at me, like, don't you lose my uh, child forever. Again, we want to really take the, um, language of our audience. And that's where real, you know, real, you know, like people like me, a copywriter would do a lot of research into these moms. And, and there's plenty of different sources in terms of Facebook groups, forums, all those kind of things where moms are having trouble with teenagers. You can bring out their specific language, uh, either copy and paste it in there, a uh, specific story or, um, you know, use that as inspiration as you go along. So those are kind of the, uh, the main things that stuck out to me. So if I go to the next page in terms of your lead magnet, again, <clears throat> once we get to the lead magnet, again, this, you know, you should get a little bit better traffic and more qualified traffic once you have the right campaign and targeting and Facebook ad copy. But again, at the top here, um, again, it's not specific enough. It doesn't really bring in my curiosity about what this is about. So if I'm, if I'm a mom that is having trouble connecting with my teen, uh, it doesn't immediately, you know, learn to make peace with your child's imperfections. Again, 
you know, people, people don't want to hear that their child is imperfect. Um, so it could be something like, okay, how to improve, how to improve, you know, the, the uh, relationship with your teen at the very basic level, at least that might spark my curiosity and get me reading down the page. If I'm having, um, you know, uh, um, troubles with my teen, uh, a little bit more, but the idea, especially at the top here is just to kind of capture their attention, talk about the benefits of opting in, um, talk about your, again, maybe your unique formula, your unique process and get them rolling down the page. And then as you go down again, you can have the opt in here could make it as easy as like name, um, you know, first name, last name, uh, email address, and then maybe a couple bullets on the left hand side here. <coughs> and then maybe below that, you know, if you have any testimonials, things like that, uh, around that. That really um, helps out. Maybe a little bit more about your organization. There's not really too much uh, around that. I'd like to know a little bit more about these 10 free tips. Like, why is this anything different than all the other resources that are out there around, um, you know, what moms have? So I want to kind of differentiate your process uh, a little bit more. I don't have access to your um, lead magnet. So if you want to give me access to your lead magnet, I could kind of give some suggestions on how to, um, you know, punch up the copy here and kind of create that curiosity. But <clears throat> especially on this page, we want to really talk about the benefits, talk about, you know, ramp up the curiosity to get them to click through. Uh, and right now there's just, um, you know, you're trying to do a little bit of it, uh, talking about the you know connection between the teen's brain and their emotions. But I don't really have a lot of context in terms of what this resource is for, who is it right for, which moms is it right for, and, you know, what are the benefits that are going to come out of it once I read through this um, and those kind of things. And again, some proof around testimonials or just a little bit more about the organization would be really helpful because you're asking people to, you know, give, give away their email address. So they want to, they want to see the value on the, on the other side of that. So those are kind of the main things, again, having the right campaign, um, having the right targeting, uh, you know, putting the Facebook ad copy uh, in a way that really captures these moms attention. And then really thinking about the landing page, how can we do it a little bit more benefit or uh, benefit uh, oriented, kind of give them the right context, uh, and then kind of put some curiosity and benefit oriented bullets in there so that they opt in and they feel good about that. And they actually know who they're interacting with. Um, again, who is this K-12 sports? Like, you know, just putting a little bit more credibility uh, there as well would help. So, you know, if you want a little bit more help, happy to, to go along, just hit that reply button and uh, help you to push you in the right direction.